Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about something that I am super passionate about. If you know me at all, you know that that is skincare. I love giving advice, I love giving tips, I love telling you my thoughts on skincare products. It's just something that I'm very passionate about, and I believe that makeup only looks beautiful when the skin underneath it is healthy and glowing. So, what I'm going to do today, you know, over the last couple of weeks, over on TikTok and Instagram stories, I've shared a lot of advice. I've told you the difference between essence and toner and this and that and the other. Today, what I want to do is I want to show you some of my longtime staples, but I also want to tell you the certain brands and products that I'm currently testing that I just received um, some a couple days ago, but I'm really thinking that they could be promising long term. But of course, you can't tell a skincare product after just a couple days. You really do need to use it long term. So I will mention which things are kind of my ride or die. If you've been around here for a while, you know what I've been using for a long time. You know the brands that I always continuously go to. But this is definitely going to include a lot of new products because I'm really wanting to test out more and more and incorporate different products on different days of the week. So, if you guys are also interested in any of the products I mentioned, I will have them all listed down in my description box in the order that I mentioned them, including a link that will be an affiliate link to go and purchase it if you so wish to. Every time I include links in my description boxes, if you complete the purchase or the transaction, I will receive a small percentage as a commission and basically a thank you for me encouraging a purchase of yours. You as a consumer never pay more for using my links, but it helps me basically prove stats and results to brands that I'm partnering with, and it just proves that I am influencing in some way. So if you guys want to purchase anything, all those links will be down below. And without any more waffling, jibber-jabber, let's get right into it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to start off with is cleansers. First one is one that I've really loved for a long time. This is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. I love this travel size version because I always take this with me on my travels and it's also very hydrating. This is really just a ride or die go-to. I've loved it for a long time. I've also been experimenting a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot with Clean Beauty. Clean spelled C-L-E-E-N. They are super affordable. It is obviously a clean brand. It doesn't have a bunch of toxic chemicals but you can find this at Walmart. So the price is right, okay? The price is really good for this whole collection. I have a couple other things that I may bring up from their collection later on in this video, but this cleanser is really nice. This is their Rosehip Jelly Face Cleanser. Works really well, it's super gentle. I love to use this in the shower. Wonder Beauty, no surprise, no shock there. This is another brand I've loved for a very long time. Another one that I also have the small, tiny little travel size version of, which I love to take with me when I travel. And it's also got a pump and it foams up, so it feels really nice. But this is another really good brand that doesn't really include a lot of garbage products and ingredients, I should say. And everything works really well. The one that I may get a little bit of hate on is the Kylie Skin Foaming Face Cleanser because everyone lost their minds last year when I reviewed her skincare and I said most of the products were good. This I use only when my skin is super oily. And it's super oily, and a lot of you may already know this, but when you have oily skin, it actually means that your skin is really dehydrated. And the reason it's oily is because your actual body and your skin is trying to compensate for the fact that it's actually really dry. So your body adapts, just like it does with anything else, and starts producing that oil and that grease to compensate for that dryness. Now the reason you don't want that to happen is typically that oiliness that you create from your body is basically producing an oil that's taking out the things that you've put in your body. So if you're eating chicken tenders and drinking beer and eating gummy bears and stuff like that, that's coming out on your skin. So that is why you should actually use an oil and super hydrating products. But when I'm getting really greasy, I actually like to use this facial wash to dry things out and get rid of all the greasiness and then I go in with all the products and put the hydration back into my skin. So it's not often that I use this personally, that's why the bottle is all the way up here, but this is our second bottle. We've had this for a while, this is our second bottle and my fiance and I both use this kind of in, I feel like when we're both oily, we know that this is gonna dry us out because Kylie created a skincare line that was meant for her demographic and when you're younger, when you're in your teenage years, your skin tends to be more oily, producing more grease. 
So she created a good line for that demographic and that was kind of my verdict when I reviewed her line. So these are kind of the four that I've been focusing on lately. I've had some issues with that oiliness just because it is really dry right now. It is winter time and I don't always use enough oils. A day that I get really busy, I don't really put enough oil and serum and moisturizer on my skin and that is why I end up a little bit more greasy so then I just go in with that cleanser get everything completely dried out <laughs> because that definitely dries you out and then I kind of do a reset on my skin so that is the cleansers the next set of products is actually going to be kind of one-offs because I only have one of each and they can kind of go in different orders it kind of depends on the day and what you're doing in terms of your skincare on that particular day. And I'll explain what I mean here in a second. So the first thing I'll talk about is sunscreen. This is something that I've been preaching for literally years because I'm such an advocate for SPF, sunscreen, zinc, etc. because I live in Arizona, it's always hot here, the sun is always beating down, I don't need any additional aging on my skin, okay? So the one that I, highly recommend is from Elta MD. It is very expensive in comparison to the banana boat and the stuff that you can get at CVS. But the reason this is better is because it actually has zinc. And I've read a lot of research, I've read in a lot of different articles, that the best sunscreen active ingredient is actually zinc. And the reason that is, and this is why, one thing that I don't like about this sunscreen is that it does come out white. Typically when you have a zinc oxide sunscreen, it is going to be more white. And the reason that is, is because the white is not only protecting your skin from the UVB and the UVA rays, but it is actually reflecting the rays back into the universe. So typically when you get like a banana boat or something that's very generic, you're not actually getting the rays sinking into your skin. So you're not getting the sunburn. You may not be getting the sunspots right away but you are still to some degree absorbing those rays. They're just not causing the damage, okay? Zinc oxide's goal is actually to reflect off of your skin back into the universe. So think of it as almost a mirror, and this zinc is actually going to mirror those rays right back into the universe. So that is why it is white. And this one is actually really, really special. Again, very pricey in comparison to what you guys may have seen, you know, the $7, the $5 SPF, whatever it is. Um, but this one is lightly tinted, which makes it extremely special, and it just rubs into the skin really nicely, and on days when I'm doing really light makeup, pretty much no makeup, this is just a really nice base. So this is, highly recommend this one. Now, we're going to go in with some masks first. The one that I just tested out, first time testing this mask out, was yesterday, okay? This is from Freck. It's F-R-E-C-K. New brand, they're out of California. They're super cute, super trendy. Um, the packaging is really chic. I love this like old school packaging. And I don't know who's watching this, but if you don't know this, in this type of packaging, I, this took me like 20 years to learn, maybe longer. When you open this thing, the actual outside of the lid is how you puncture this to open the product, okay? literally took me forever to figure that out and I was like why do people do stuff in these um, containers when you have to get a knife and then it gets everywhere and finally realized that uh, they had the opener right on the back so I don't know who needs to hear that but just in case it's you this actually the back of this is what punctures the product open now uh oh it's coming out <laughs> it's coming out so this is ooh. I'm gonna have to put this somewhere else. This is the Four Clay Cactus Clay Mask. Like I mentioned, this is the brand called Freck. This is delightful. I don't know how else to describe it, but it is a clay mask, so it does tighten the longer you keep it on. This is a 15 to 20 minute mask. And as I got to the, like, the 20 minute mark, it definitely starts to tighten, but it's not the same as that really popular clay mask that everyone loves, the Aztec Healing Clay Mask. That one that you can find on Thrive Market, on Amazon, etc. That's probably one of the most popular clay masks of all time. This definitely gives it a run for its money, and this made my skin super glowy as soon as I took it off. It was a lot easier to get off of my skin. You know, sometimes with clay, I feel like you have to drag your skin for like 20 minutes to get all the pieces, and then three hours later, you realize you forgot like a little piece of clay down on your neck. But this 
really worked well. There, there was a lot of positives to my experience with this yesterday. It could have been because I felt more patient. It could have been a number of reasons. But I really did like this, so I would definitely recommend this just from my experience yesterday. And with a mask like this, clay has almost an instantaneous effect, to be honest. You can typically see while the mask is on, after you take it off the next day, what it's going to do. And I've really liked the glow that it's given back into my skin. I do feel like it was effective. I do feel like it got deep in the pores. So I would recommend that. Now, two masks, two more masks here. So Clean Beauty again, Clean, C-L-E-E-N. Walmart, you get two masks basically for the price of one and super easy travel friendly they actually fold over in half which I think is really cool the top one is a blue algae hydrating sheet mask and the bottom one is a turmeric soothing sheet mask so the blue algae hydrating if you're having issues with your hydration levels which a lot of us are right now like I mentioned earlier this is a great mask it's very hydrating very moisturizing and it kind of just sticks to the skin really nicely and then the turmeric soothing sheet mask if you have a lot of redness irritation again caused from dryness this mask could be a really good one and this isn't breaking the bank so if you try it and you don't like it and it doesn't work for you, you don't care for it whatever you didn't spend like seventy dollars on it you know what i mean so there's a little bit less risk when you're getting a good product for a cheaper amount and that's why i really like clean beauty because their price point and the actual quality of the product so far have just blown me away. I'm always surprised because when I look at the price, I'm like, this was $8 for the cleanser or whatever it is. I'm like, this is only $10? That's crazy. And you're getting a pretty good amount of it in comparison to some of the other brands that you would find at Sephora and Ulta. Now, this is just one of my favorite things ever. It's just so chic and classy. I have a full container of these, Wonder Beauty again. These are the Baggage Claim Rose Gold Eye Masks. They are literally rose gold and you put them right under your eyes. They make a huge difference. And I did recently do a TikTok where I had them on. And once I took them off, it really looks like I got more sleep. It's amazing. So I really do recommend these. And I think they're a good idea when you are traveling because even if you sleep on the plane, it, it's not real sleep. You're still tired. You still kind of look like shit. So those eye masks are actually really nice. And then, seriously, if you've been here before, if you've seen me anywhere online, you know that I love the Dr. Dennis Gross peel pads. This is like beating a dead horse, honestly, because I just love these so much. I do use the red ones. I would recommend if you haven't really done a chemical peel or a peel or even a facial before professionally, I would probably recommend starting with the universal, which is the orange. If your skin is super, super sensitive, like you touch it with your finger and it turns bright red type of sensitive, or you know that most products are gonna cause irritation type of sensitive, you should start with the blue, which is the very gentle peel pad, because the idea of these is really that you're exfoliating that outside layer of your skin. So step one is, which one? Is on the right side, you're exfoliating and smoothing your skin. That is where you're going to feel some tingle and you're going to feel a sensation. And if you go in with red and you've never done anything like this before, it's slightly going to burn because your skin's not used to it. It's just not there. Now you're exfoliating really deep into your skin. You've never done it before. So that's why I would recommend. Typically, most people are okay with the orange, but again, super sensitive. Start with the blue. I've been using these for so long and I use them three to four times a week at least that I go in with the red each time. And then the second step here is the anti-aging neutralizer. This is really a serum and basically it's a serum I would describe it as getting deep, deep, deep into your pores once you've just exfoliated everything. So this kind of acts almost as a toner and an essence in a way because you're exfoliating, getting those dead skin cells off, and then you're also putting a little bit of anti-aging neutralizer back into your skin and it's absorbing a little bit deeper. So on days that I use this, I don't typically use a toner and an essence on top of it. It's kind of like a replacement. And these also can run, run you a little bit high at Sephora. I saw a meme, or no, it wasn't a meme, it was actually a TikTok video of someone recently where it said, you know, my, what my boyfriend thinks I get for $200 at Sephora. And then it was like, what I actually get. And it was like, you know, guys think you're coming home with like six bags from Sephora for $200. And you're like, I just got two tiny little ass things for $200. These are definitely a little bit up there. I think the bigger pack is 
somewhere in the 125 range if I'm not mistaken, but you can get these in a smaller size that is a little bit more affordable to just try them out, see if they're for you. Highly recommend these. This is, this is my product that if you could only pick one skincare like healing type of product, if it was, you know, you could pick any serum, any oil, any moisturizer, like anything like that, I would always pick these. I think you still do need, you need hydration and you need to cleanse. But honestly, these are so good because they're getting rid, they're kind of cleansing and they are putting a little bit of hydration back. So I don't know, I just, I can't say enough good things about these. They make such a difference. And if I don't use these for a couple days, you can really tell on my skin. I've got Glow Tonics, which is the one that I have here from Pixie. I have two of these little ones. I have the big ones somewhere, I just can't find it. But I've got two of these. These are brand new. This is essentially going to help bring more glow and a little bit of hydration into your skin. But it is still exfoliating and smoothing your skin by removing that outside layer. That's why I said, if you're doing the peel pads from Dr. Dennis Gross, you don't need to do this again because you're just, you're gonna be repeating steps, essentially. But with that said, I really do love this toner. I think it works really well. It does make your skin a lot smoother, a lot brighter. It does give you a nice glow. The other one that I really love is from Fresh. This is the Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. This has true rose petals inside. It's just a beautiful product and it smells wonderful. It's super hydrating. And again, it's exfoliating the skin, it is putting hydration back, and it is calming the skin down. And I think that's a really important thing that toners typically do nowadays, is that they're still going to balance the pH of your skin after you've cleansed, but you're not at such an extreme now. Most cleansers are foaming oil cleansers or foaming hydration cleansers, and they're trying to actually give back to your skin while actually cleansing, so a toner isn't necessarily needed. However, if you are someone that's using just your fingers and you're not using some sort of device and you're not double cleansing, you do need an additional level of cleansing your skin. And this is why a lot of times when I use a toner and I go in with a cotton pad, I still see brown makeup from my foundation, from my eyeshadow, from my concealer. You, you do need that additional step. So I do like it for that reason. And both of these are really gentle. They're not super drying. There's a lot of toners out there that I absolutely hate because they are so drying. It's like you're putting straight alcohol on your face because the goal is to still keep cleansing. So that is what I would recommend against is that alcohol just like really abrasive toner because it's doing more damage than good. Now the difference between the toner and an essence, I told you toner is to finish cleansing. It's the end of the cleansing routine. An essence is the first part of your treatment routine. And there's a lot of research that goes to show, and this is definitely a very popular step in actual Korean skincare. This is not something that is common in Western skincare. It's something that we've started to kind of adapt to because we see Korean women, they have beautiful skin. It's radiant, they're 50 years old and they look younger than I do at 28. So there is something that they're doing right. What they say is that the essence is the most important thing that they use every single night. And a lot of their routines average 8 to 10 products every single night. And essence is oil-based, okay, first of all. Toner, we were talking about water-based. So right out of the gate, they're two completely different formulations. You've got a water-based product and you've got an oil-based product. And you can really tell the difference because when I put an essence on, it kind of feels like an oil serum combination. And I actually don't even put this on a cotton pad. I put toner on a cotton pad because putting water on your hands is ridiculous. It's just gonna go through your fingertips. But with this, I do put it on my fingertips and gently pat it into my skin, especially in my problematic areas. So my cheeks, I've got big pores, my forehead, um, kind of down here around my chin, I do gently dab this in with my fingers. So you've got a big difference there at, right out of the gate. So they are not the same. You've got water versus oil. Now with Essence, you really want to put this on because what it does is it puts hydration back into your skin first and foremost, because you just did all your cleansing, you toned, you did all this. Now you're starting your actual treatment. And this is my favorite part of skincare because the cleansing is kind of boring and the moisturizer at the very end is also kind of boring. 
I love serums and oils because they're actually making a difference on your skin. Whereas the first and the last is just kind of like you need to do them. They're kind of boring. Everyone does them. But this is where you really start to learn and understand which products are going to work for your skin and actually heal the things that you're trying to heal. Essence soaks deep into your pores and basically opens up your skin to the next few products that you're going to be putting into your routine. So this is why I really like this and it makes sense why it's one of the most important steps in Korean skincare because if you're using a bunch of oils and serums and you go, you're going cleanser, toner, serums and oils and then moisturizer, you're not getting as big of a benefit of that routine because the products may not necessarily be sinking in as deep into your skin. And so that is why these two products were not made equal. There are brands today that create a combination of the two in one. And unfortunately I shook this a little bit too much so it's all mixed up. This is from Wonder Beauty. This is called their Miss Connection Essence and Toner. And when you shake it like this, it does become this formulation. It's kind of been like shaking back and forth in my lap. But when it's not, you actually have a separation of the toner and the essence. Because remember, oil and water, you have to shake it to mix the two. But they will separate. So in this product, you'll see the actual separation with pink and white on either half of the bottle, which is just so cool. This is such a great product and it makes so much sense to combine the two because you want to be done with the cleansing and then you just want to get into the essence. So to put the two together makes sense, but it's definitely a feat because the product still separates and you have to shake it every time you use it in order to mix the two. But I love this because it's a spray. You can spray it on a cotton pad and then just run it all over your skin. Or you can just spray it and then kind of use your fingertips to gently press up and press into your skin. <sniffs> Smells great. Beautiful brand. I love them. You guys know this. This product saves you a lot of money too because it's two in one. You're getting two benefits. You're getting the end cleanser of the toner and then you're getting the new introduction of your treatment routine with the essence. So it's fabulous. Okay, so my camera just died. I did a little break on Instagram and now I'm back. So the final toner that I'm going to talk about is actually from Freck, again, another repeat brand. This is their Cactus Water and it's called the Cleansing Lactic Acid Toner. This is essentially a water, but it's got some oils in it. It's super hydrating, makes your skin really nice and glowy. And I can't remember, it says it combines lactic acid with a rainbow of vegetable and plant extracts to balance and promote evenness in your skin. Mic drop. This whole brand is just super cute. All the packaging, all the verbiage and marketing behind it is just adorable. And I really did enjoy this. I thought it was more hydrating than any of the other toners I've used, even the Deep Rose Hydration one from Fresh. So there's something to be said there. There was definitely a lot of hydration from the toner, but again, it is a toner. It doesn't serve as an essence. You would still, if you're into essence, you would still wanna use essence after you tone with that. So the next set of products is pretty much the majority of the ones I'm gonna talk about because this is the serums. And for the most part, I'm combining like serums and oils into this category right now because I actually have not been using as many oils recently. So yeah, we're just going to talk about serums here for a second. We're going to put the eye serums off to the side for right now. I'm going to start with the eye serums actually because in your skincare routine you always want to go from the thinnest to the thickest. And since the eye cream is actually going to cover the least amount of space on your face, it's just the area right underneath your eye, you'd actually go in first with the eye cream. I've always, and I used to do this all the time, I would put on all of my moisturizer and everything and then at the very end I would do a little bit of the eye serum. You actually want to do that first because what may happen is you may end up getting moisturizer on top of that area and then putting the serum on top of moisturizer is actually not going to allow it to penetrate into your skin because you've put something super thick that it can't then sink through if that makes sense so we have one that i have just started trying so everything from freck is brand new freck is spelled again f-r-e-c-k that's the name of the brand mentioned already they're out of california and um, this is the so jelly cactus eye jelly with plant collagen comes in this cute little packaging very lightweight, very hydrating, stayed under my eyes for a very long time. I did kind of my nightly skincare routine yesterday, kind of early, 
early to late afternoon if I remember correctly and then I didn't really do anything when I went to bed I just put a little bit of moisturizer on brush my teeth went to bed I like that idea because as soon as you get home the longer you can basically let these products sit into your skin the better it is for you the more benefits you're gonna see now if you only get four hours of sleep and you're cleansing putting your serums on then you're waking up in the morning you're cleansing again you didn't really get much benefit from the actual products that you put on your skin so kind of think about that if you know you're not going to get much sleep maybe do your skincare routine earlier in the evening because you're going to let everything penetrate deeper for longer so the other one that i have here is from dr dennis gross again no surprise this is the c plus collagen brighten and firm eye cream comes in this little guy and it's got a nice little pipette or little pump there this is also very good. I use this morning and night depending on how you want to work with your skin. I've always said that I do believe vitamin C is actually even more powerful in the morning because vitamin C helps your skin basically operate at higher efficiency and it's helping protect your skin throughout the day. When you go out into the world, especially if you live in a very polluted area like a Los Angeles or New York City, you really want the vitamin C in your skin in the morning so it's helping your skin kind of operate through all the toxins and pollutants that are going to hit it throughout the day. It's also great at night to basically reju rejuvenate and regenerate your skin but in the morning is even more important truthfully. So yeah, these are the two eye creams that I've been focusing on at the moment. I love them both. Now I'm just going to kind of dive into the different serums, and truthfully, I don't use, I can't use all of these every single day. Some of them have similar effects. Some of them don't really mesh well with one another. Um, something that you could always do if you have like five different serums, you could just make a little mix kind of in your hand. Just do one pump of each one, spread it all together, and then put them all in at once. That way you're not just layering on layer on layer, you know, and that way you can get the most efficiency out of all of them. But trying to think so this one is very a hit or miss for me because I don't always use it because I'm not always looking for a tan but from tan Lux, we've got the super glow hyaluronic self tan serum this is really cool because this is a gradual tan but it's in the form of a hyaluronic serum so you're getting the hydration from hyaluronic but you're also getting a tan typically when you get a tan you're really drying out your skin so this is why this is just a magical product and you use just a couple of drops depending on how dark you want to go but I typically use maybe half of this pipette put it on my fingertips and then just blend it all over the skin this is not just like a press like you would with a typical serum because this is going to put color on your skin so I do like to spread this all over and evenly and kind of even go down my neck that way everything's getting the hydration and everything is going to evenly tan you do need to wash your hands immediately after Otherwise, you're going to have some really splotchy hands the next day. And I've made that mistake many times, but not anymore. <laughs> Just got to scrub like that inside after you're already done with the serum. So that's kind of a once a week, maybe once every two weeks. Like it's not very common, but I do like it, especially if I'm doing a couple shoots or I'm going to be on video or I'm taking photos, selfies, whatever. That's a really nice one to get a little bit of instant color. You can use it in the morning or at night, which is nice. Now, I love vitamin C serum, like I mentioned. I actually don't have, I do have one that I love. I was like, where is it? Um, these are my two favorites. Again, these are no surprise here. I've mentioned these already. This was probably in my last skincare video back in the fall. But the Drunk Elephant C Firma Day Serum. This is incredible. And what I like about this is it kind of goes back to what I was just telling you and my theory about vitamin C. They created a day serum with vitamin C for a reason. This is supposed to help your skin operate very well, more efficiently, protect it from extra carcinogens and toxins out there. And so I love this one. It also has an oil base. It's definitely more greasy. So if you feel like your skin's really dry, this vitamin C is very, very hydrating. So this is definitely a winner for me. And then my top, top, top vitamin C serum of all time comes from SkinCeuticals. This is the C and E Ferulic Combination Antioxidant containing absorbic acid. Absorbic acid is actually vitamin C. If you see a vitamin C product that doesn't have absorbic acid, you need to look and actually see if there is another alternative of vitamin C in there because products can be sold to you as vitamin C that actually have no vitamin C in them. 
So keep that in mind because having vitamin C in the product makes it much more expensive because you're actually getting a boost of vitamins. And this one also has ferulic acid and tocopherol. Tocopherol, I'm not saying that right, but this is amazing. This makes a huge difference in my skin. I love using this one at night and then using this one during the day. So there's kind of a mix there. Now, this is the one, this is my replacement that Clean Beauty sent me that they saw was running low in the other one. This is the Vitamin C Papaya Glow Serum. Again, this is more of an oil. It's a very lightweight oil and they call it a serum because it's definitely not thick like an oil, but it has the essence of an oil essentially. And this they say actually to apply onto clean, dry skin. So they would recommend putting this on first. And I think if you really do need a really good boost of hydration, your skin's kind of dull, it kind of looks gray, this is probably the best thing that you can do as the first step after your essence. But, oh, here's the other one. Wow, here's the other one. This one's kind of halfway gone there. The one that I've used for years and years comes from Kiehl's. This is the Midnight Recovery Concentrate. This is the product that made them who they are today, I feel like. I know that they have been doing this since like 1885, like a long time ago. Kiehl's was started a long time ago. And the flagship store is actually in New York City and it's amazing and I just love all the science. The products are amazing. But this is really the product that everyone started to gravitate to. I wanna say like 10, 10 to 15 years ago, it could have been even longer, but this is how I found the brand. And they do have one that goes now for the eyes. They have the Midnight Eye Concentrate as well. Very good. I don't have it here with me today. I haven't really been using it to be honest, but I always use this stuff. This is like the ride or die product. And then, so these two I'm gonna talk about, well, I'll talk about this one first. So this is a brand new bottle. Al Genis was so kind. They sent me a bunch of new goodies. But I really wanted to touch on this because I actually finished my first bottle of this. I got rid of it a while back and I haven't been using it since. This is their liquid collagen. And you know, this is one of those things that when I talked about liquid collagen and surface collagen on the skin over on TikTok, people have a lot of opinions about this, just like they have a lot of opinions about everything. But a lot of people don't actually believe that putting collagen on the surface layer of the skin is ever going to make a difference because it can't really penetrate deep enough into your skin. Now, when someone tells me that, I, I instantly think that they're full of crap because if you're exfoliating your skin and you're getting rid of the dead skin cells on the surface layer, you're already exposing one layer deeper. Then when you put the essence on, the essence is going to actually absorb into your pores, going deeper into your skin, and get the skin ready for the serums and the treatments. So when you're using liquid collagen, I would probably do this right after the essence. So depending on what's the most important, like what your treatment is, like are you going for extra hydration? Are you going for extra collagen? Are you going for anti-aging? Like what is the goal? for that evening, that's how I decide what is going on first after the essence. So this one um, just goes in first every once in a while, to be honest, and I've loved it for a long time. And they did kindly also send me the Liquid Collagen Lip. Now this is amazing. Now I used this for the first time today and I was like, I have to talk about this because as soon as I used this, my lips felt like they were rejuvenated and they've been really dry and yeah, this is just incredible and this works really well. I like the application of this. This one's a little bit tougher to kind of get out of the bottle sometimes, but this is just a twist off and it comes right out and I was like, this is amazing. And the way to describe it is like, it's very gentle, but it just penetrates deep into your lips and gives it, it's got like a water-based solution, but it just has so much hydration. So it feels very lightweight. You can put this underneath a lip product that you're gonna have, or if you're starting your routine in the morning, put this on first, give it a little bit of time to kind of absorb, and then put your products on after, and it does plump it up the lips a little bit, okay? That's not their claim to fame, but collagen typically has a plumping element, especially if you put enough in one area. This definitely made them look a little bit more voluminous this morning when I was doing a little tutorial. I put that on in the beginning and then kind of went through all my makeup and I was like, whoa, my lips are looking really plump. <laughs> so, side note there. And then this one I just got, this came from my BoxyCharm and this is the Kate Somerville Bio Mimicking Peptide Serum. 
So the goal of this serum is really to smooth and firm and liven up the skin. Basically suck it in, make it look a little bit more tight, which I definitely need right now. And I know I've mentioned this before if you've watched some of my vlogs, there is a certain separation that's happening on my skin and part of it is a little bit of weight loss, and weight loss, not lost. Um, and the other piece too is just my skin is actually losing that elasticity. It's kind of starting to sag, which is really scary to say, but it's the truth. So with this serum, what you're basically doing is kind of boosting everything up, helping it sort of tighten in without dehydrating the skin because you can easily tighten things up, but you're going to dehydrate the crap out of your skin. So this is kind of going against that and tightening it while also keeping it hydrated. And then I told you about the liquid collagen already. The last two things here, again, another product from Freck. This is, this is such a cute name. It's called Lil Prick and it's the Cactus Seed Dry Serum. Now the name Dry Serum kind of threw me off because this feels like an oil. So when I read Dry Serum, I was like, hmm, interesting. This is super lightweight, very hydrating, feels really moisturizing, feels like it's actually soothing the skin. And this actually stayed on throughout the night. I woke up, okay, so I did my, I told you, I did my nighttime skincare routine kind of early in the evening yesterday. It was like four or five in the afternoon. I woke up this morning, my skin still had this serum on. Like I could feel the hydration still there. And I didn't, I just splashed some water this morning, didn't cleanse my skin this morning, just a little splash, splish splash, kind of around the eyes, let it breathe and put on some more skincare. This is so incredibly hydrating. I'm just obsessed with this already just from one application okay and usually it takes a lot more than that to impress me so I really think that's a good one and then for the daytime I really love this Wonder Beauty face glow oil it's the glow ahead face oil this is really cool the pipette is a little bit interesting because every time I try to like get in my hands I feel like it kind of goes between my fingers because it is a very thin oil formulation very thin and that's interesting to me because oils are typically a little bit thicker. So the fact that this is really thin is what makes it perfect for the daytime underneath your makeup. So if you need a little glow, extra hydration, if you're on a plane, maybe you don't want to put any foundation or makeup on, you want to put a little bit of this on and your skin just kind of looks nice and dewy. And it's also staying hydrated and you're not going to feel dry. Because there are times when I've gone on flights and I just feel so dry and dehydrated. And even though I've put moisturizer on, it's just not the same. Oil really just hits different, you know? So yeah, that is a lot of serums. And some of these, I will say, are kind of a mix of oils and serums depending on the formulation. And like I just mentioned with Wonder Beauty, it's interesting that that one just feels more like an oil than it does a serum. Or it feels more like a serum than it does an oil, I should say. But yeah, lots of good stuff in here. Okay, we're almost there. I've only got a couple of products left here. What I have, though, um, what am I going to go with next? I'm going to go with these two because this is an interesting little combination. And another product, it's kind of like Kiehl's. The Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. This is a night repair serum. I feel like a lot of people have seen this and talked about this. I'm pretty sure my mom introduced me to this a long time ago and was like, Estee Lauder is the best. This serum really helps. So this has, for me, a similar effect to the Kiehl's um, Midnight Recovery Concentrate. It's a little bit less thick because it's not a concentrate. And that's why I was going to say Estee Lauder did come out with a concentrate. They do have a concentrate now, but they also have this like advanced recovery serum type of situation. The goal here is that you would use this one first because this is a thinner product. You kind of get this onto your skin after you've done your essence, and then you would go in with this concentrate. And the goal here is really to repair your skin overnight. It's to get rid of all the toxins and the damage and the pollutants that have happened throughout the day and just rejuvenate your skin. And I think the combination of these two does work really well. These are very expensive. Um, and I honestly, I can't say that I would recommend these over Kiehl's. I think they're kind of even or level, I guess, but I really do prefer Kiehl's because it is thinner and it's one product so far. This has like the combination of the two and you really get better results when you're using both. Okay. And the concentrate is really more like a heavier serum. 
this just feels like a lighter serum and it's hard to explain them but it definitely makes your skin look so much more rejuvenated it looks hydrated um, less issues I've even noticed certain dark spots on my skin looking lighter the next day I mean it's definitely a magical powerful solution I just I'm, I'm kind of like do I recommend Kiehl's over this one I, I like them equally I guess but here you're gonna need both of these and Kiehl's is one product but it doesn't do it's a tough it's a tough mix-up I like them both pick which brand you like better and go with that okay and then I have three moisturizers I'll do the first one because this is a night one so that makes it easy this is the Rodile magic gel night pink diamond lift and luminate it's got that opening at the top you kind of squeeze this product comes out of the hole in the middle scoop it up put it all over um, not the most hygienic route because your grubby little fingers are going to be kind of scooping on top of here constantly and uh, yeah I'm not I'm not really a fan of the the germaphobe in me is not really a fan of this method this is a really incredible nighttime moisturizer and I've been using it a lot lately um, it's definitely lifting anything that's like lifting or um, illuminating anti-aging tightening I've been really going for that lately because of kind of what I mentioned with my face and the fact that I am losing a little bit of elasticity and my face is getting a little too relaxed I'm trying to like really boost this okay the other two are great well this one's good for nighttime or daytime um, I think it's a little too thick for daytime actually but it's advertised as both morning and night this is from frack it's called rich bitch which I loved that's such a cute name and then it's cactus and vitamin C moisturizer I love a good old two-in-one product you know why because you buy one and you get two for the price of one that's why I love the fact this has vitamin C in it so you don't actually have to buy a vitamin C day serum if you don't want to because you've already got it in here huge huge bottle this will last a really long time okay so I like that as well it is let's see it's 3.6 ounces so I think it's 3.2 that's travel friendly so you can't travel with this but truthfully if you kind of like folded this over you would probably get away with the fact that it's still within the range don't really risk it don't do that at home kids the other one is this wonder beauty hidden glow brightening cream again wonder beauty love their stuff this is a really nice highlighting cream and I actually put it on today you can definitely see that my skin is really glowy it's dewy and I also have a light shining on me right now so that's probably adding to it but the highlighter and every my skin just looks hydrated it looks healthy it looks like I'm not like parched to the bone when you look at me and you know there was a time probably like five six years ago where looking this dewy was like disgusting and you look like a disco ball and now it's all the rage because the dewier you are the healthier typically and the other thing too is there's a difference between grease and oil and having this dewy glow you can really see that difference and what I've learned over time too is that people who do have like a nice oil and their skin is always kind of hydrated their skin tends to age slower than those who have really dry dehydrated skin and it makes sense when you think about it logistically like if your skin is always dry it's always tight it's just going to start to age more because anytime you make a facial expression it's like crunching to like move those parts of your face so it just makes sense logistically but I love this stuff used it today it's really easy it's travel friendly um, gives you that nice glow and it's a moisturizer so you really can't go wrong and it's perfect underneath makeup Wow, that was a lot of products. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to have all of them linked down below in my description box. So if there are any that you want to purchase, you can go ahead down below, click them, add them to your cart. If you have questions about your specific skin type or any specific product, I didn't really dive too deeply into any single one. This is just kind of like my favorites. Um, let me know as well. I'm happy to answer questions and I need a lot of details before I can make any sort of recommendation. Keep in mind, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a licensed esthetician, I'm not licensed skincare expert. This is just me and my passion for skincare that I've been doing for a long time. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.